Hey, hello there. This is a tutorial for the procedural curve shapes. So I pre-programmed 21 curve shapes that you can adjust and edit in size and also in resolution. And here you see an overview. This is my uh, render file with, with which I make the visuals. And if we go into here, we see uh, that you have them all separate. So if we go into it, uh, here we have a droplet, for example. If you want to make uh, like some kind of icon for a map. And here you can set the diameter. And we also have the sharpness. So you can set the, uh, how sharp the point is. And here we have the resolution. Uh, the next one is a heart. You can also adjust the diameter of the heart and the sharpness as well and the resolution next one is an arrow with the arrow we can say the size in the x dimension and the size in the y dimension and we have the pointiness and which direction you want to have it pointed to then we have another arrow it's more like a, a cursor arrow parameters say how thick it is how long it is the length or the width of the arrow and the length of the arrow so you can customize it any way you want then we have a rhombus very simple you can scale it uh, we have the x dimension yeah it disappears because uh, it also has a fillet when we turn off the fillet you can see rhombus this way uh, in the y dimension and then we have like the fillet that we can set and also the resolution of the fillet then next we have a quadrilateral bubble so we can uh, enlarge it one axis the other axis and we have the count so we can give it more or less uh, bubbles it's a little bit like a comic uh, thinking bubble or speech bubble you can have it not rounded or rounded and then the radius of the fillet so you can make some kind of weird shape from it and the re resolution also the rounded fillet so that's the bubble then we have the almond shape or eye shape that you can uh, widen so adjust the height like this and the resolution of course well below it here we have a uh, speech bubble just a regular speech bubble you can adjust the height adjust the width uh, we have the arrow length that you can adjust you even make it inward how wide it is the arrow rounded or not rounded have the fillet radius all the fillets get uh, then the fillet resolution and also where the arrow is on the speech bubble do that by, by this slider then we have the quadrilateral how did I call this rounded corners and you have a width and a height and then you can set how many corners you want to round so maybe you want uh, like this kind of shape or this kind of shape that you have like an, an, an archway or something then you can do it by this here we have corner radius so we go a bit less radius and the resolution then we have a zigzag curve you can adjust the length of the zigzag, you can adjust the height of the zigzag, and the amount of wobbles. Then you can also make it not rounded. This is the, the base of the of how, how you make it and then fillet it. Of course, the fillet radius that you can bring back a little if you want a different kind of zigzag. Uh, the resolution, and you can also delete the endpoints. So if you give a fillet 
then uh, yeah you of course have the endpoints of the the pointed version if you delete the endpoints then you can for example copy it and uh, make it continue if you don't want to do that for some reason not in uh, in here make it longer so that's also an option then we have the parallelogram and you can wider this and then the shear which way you want it to go and we have you can also change the top like for example if the shear is zero uh, these are both two then we can also make the top wider to make a uh, a different kind of shape i don't know the name of the shape but like from this uh, curve generator you can make a parallelogram and also like other square shapes which are deformed then we have the cog curve. Here you can set the amount of teeth. So set the radius. And uh, also how wide the teeth should be. Or how long. And also the, the top of the teeth. How big they should be. So there you have uh, enough control over how to create cogs. Then we have another arrow, like uh, with uh, larger sides. And then you can make it thicker, thinner, arrow length, and arrow head length. Then we have a capsule, capsule, just the length, so just the resolution, and the diameter. And this one is nice because I also like keep the distance uh, between all the points the same. So if you change the length, you see that the distance of the in-between uh, points or vertices also changes. And this is nice because then the topology is always uh, correct. Even if you want to extrude this, for example, or like subsurface divide, then uh, it still works so that's the caps capsule one then we have a cross this mode we have the fillet resolution like we can change the height of the cross asymmetrical width of the cross and you have the arm length and the fillet radius and fillet resolution then we have a flower curve Set the diameter. Set the leaf offset if you want to have it a little bit more shallow. Uh, then you can set the amount of points that you want to have. You even have a twist. So it becomes more like a saw blade. And then the resolution of the, uh, the fillet. Then we have an egg curve. Very simple. Set the radius of the egg, and also the height of the egg. Like the bottom is just a simple circle, uh, and the top is like an ellipse. This way, you can also set the resolution. Then we have the moon curve, and with the moon curve, you can set how big the moon is, and also how big the eclipse is. And also where you want the eclipse to be. So this way you can create a little moon. So change the resolution. Then we have a belt curve. Here we set the radius of one. Radius of the second one. Uh, and here we have the length of the belt. So let's go the other way. And the resolution. Then we have a speech bubble again. But a circular one. With a radius, resolution, point offset, rounded or not rounded, uh, and then fillet radius and fillet resolution. And then last, we have a snake curve, which is just uh, another zigzag, but then uh, longer. You can set the x axis, the y axis. The count, if you want more, like this looks a, bit, a little bit like uh, the backside of a refrigerator. 
or maybe uh, if you turn this up then uh, look like a radiator or something kind of tubes and we have the fillet radius that you can make smaller with C and then the fillet resolution so these are all 21 of the basic curves that you can use and um, I hope you enjoyed this tool.